Welcome back, dear friends. There's a sign in the Ascended Masters Club, as a matter of fact, right when you walk in the door. And the sign says, I gave up everything and expected nothing in return except myself. Every Ascended Master, every Ascended Master goes through a type of spiritual puberty where they give up everything. Oh, and it's not just the money or the goods or car, your house, your job, your family. But when it really gets down to it, what you really give up is everything that you knew to be of yourself. One of the most challenging things you or any other awakening human will ever do. Certainly because there is always the desire to build on this personality, to build on yourself. You do it through things like your, your wardrobe, your job, your, your status in the community, uh, your relationship with yourself, always trying to define yourself in an interesting and new way. But ultimately, it all comes tumbling down, or it's torn apart, or you gracefully release it, gracefully. And that's what I hope we're going to be doing in our next series, this series, which I'll share the name with you in a moment. <laughs> I'll let the anticipation build a little bit. But indeed, there is that whole going beyond personality. The mind can't fathom it. It can't. The mind tries to justify it in a way by saying, OK, I'm going to be a little bit less of me. Well, you can't be one way or the other. The mind says, I'm going to get rid of my bad habits. Well, you're going to discover, and I'm on record uh, saying this, you're going to discover that actually your bad habits have really served you quite well. It's your good habits that I worry about. <laughs> Truly, those are the habits, those are the things that you do that you're righteous about, that you defend, that you hold on to, and even when I try to take them from you, even when I try to kick them out of you, you hold on to them. Your bad habits, of course, uh, you don't like. Uh, you, you try to get rid of, you try to overcome. Uh, they're your own battlefields of power within yourself. Thank you. Uh, so it, it's not the bad habits that I worry about. It's what you consider your good habits, the building blocks of your esteem, your personality. You're in a very funny, <laughs> funny to me, Funny, uh, uh, shifting away from what you would call your personality, your identity, into something that's like a big abyss. It's not, but you have to you have to approach it as the abyss. You have to approach it without knowing what comes next. Otherwise, your personality is going to try to grab onto it and mold it into the image that it would like to have of itself. And as you've discovered. That image that you would like to have of yourself is pretty unobtainable, pretty unobtainable. Uh, but yet you keep trying to obtain it. You keep trying to go for it. I can tell you right now, and this is this message, obviously, for you, not for the outside world. You're not going to be able to obtain it, so stop trying. That's why I'm not a fan at all of goals and plans and programs. Those are for the mortals. <laughs> 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 and when I say mortals, I'm not talking about the physical body. I'm talking about I'm talking about those who hold on to an illusion, let's say a perception of what life is and where they fit into it. And really that's what so much of people's life is, trying to fit in, constantly asking that question, where do I fit in? How do I fit in? And that dreaded question of the ages, who am I? Don't ever ask that again. Uh, the minute you feel it coming up from within you, that who am I question in whatever iteration that you put it in, whatever form you put it in, the moment that you feel that coming, take a deep breath and I am that I am. Shut up. 